This is question number 18. We're told ABC is an isosceles triangle. We're asked to work out the area of the triangle and we're asked to give our answer correct to three significant figures. The question carries four marks. There's a few different approaches that you could use. What I'm going to do first is start off by splitting this triangle into two. We know that this is an isosceles triangle, so I've created two identical triangles. What I'm going to do is find this perpendicular height using trig, and then I'm simply going to multiply the base by the height and divide by two. So let's look at one of these triangles I've created. So we've got two identical triangles, and what I have now is the following information. This is a 54 degree angle. This length is six, the right angle is here. So relative to this angle, we have the adjacent, and we want the opposite. So what I'm going to do is use tan. So going back to my trig ratios, if you want to use them like this, you're more than welcome. We're looking for the opposite. Therefore, what we do now is the adjacent multiplied by the tan of the angle or the tan of the angle multiplied by the adjacent. It doesn't matter which way around you do it. So this is going to be 6 tan of 54 degrees is going to be equal to the opposite. So in a calculator, making sure you're in degrees mode, we've got shift mode 3. We're just simply going to do 6, and I don't even need to use a multiplication sign, 6 lots of a tan of 54 degrees. And that gives me 8.258 and so on and so forth. So this is going to be 8.2, and let's just get those that value, 8.258. 8.258 dot 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 so we found this height and that is from there to there so i'm going to write therefore we're going to have the area of a triangle will be equal to one half times by the base which is 12 times by the perpendicular height which is going to be 8.258 dot 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 that's stored in my calculator so let's go ahead and do that. So essentially all I'm doing is multiplying my answer by 6 if I've got a half of 12. So I'm going to multiply this by 6 and that gives me 49.54. So we can say that this is going to be 49.5 centimetres squared and that now is correct to three significant figures. So I found the perpendicular height of the triangle using trig ratios and then simply take a mat and use the standard area of a triangle. You could um, use the sine rule if you liked with this one, if I just show on there. We know what this angle is right here because we've got now 108 in total. So that's going to be now 72. So we could find one of these sides. So if you wanted, you could say that's X. And we could say now to find X, X, over the sine of 54 is going to be equal now to 12 over the sine of 72. So x is going to be 12 sine 54 over sine 72. Then that would give us x. We could then use that the area of a triangle is 1 half a b sine c. So in this case, we would simply plug this in. So the area would be 1 half A, which would be our value for X, multiplied now by B, which would be the value of 12, which we have here, multiplied by the sine of 54 degrees. So that's another way. All I've done in that particular case is simply gone ahead and looked at the triangle just here. So I've got 1 half A, B, sign C. And that's another alternative for you. So a few different ways around that question, depending on how you want to view it, either way around to three significant figures, 49 and a half centimetres squared.